Hi everybody, Sam White here, founder at Shakespeare in Detroit. I just wanted to stop by to wish you all a happy holidays. We are so fortunate to have one of the most um, enthusiastic and supportive audiences in Michigan. And uh, we wish you all, you and your families, all the best as we gear up for, I think, a really um, lovely and wonderful 2023. Um, as many of you know, in 2022, Shakespeare in Detroit returned with ticketed performances of our um, professional company or for our professional company. Um, this particular production took place in May and was in partnership with the African American Shakespeare Company. We produced that satirical comedy um, in the in the theater in the liberal arts building of our new home at Mary Grove, the former Mary Grove College, now Mary Grove Conservancy. We performed that production for about two weeks and some of you came out and saw it and we got a lot of great feedback. Um, we wanted even more um, uh, robust or larger audiences, but we also understood that this was the first show since the pandemic. This was actually Shakespeare in Detroit's first professional production, ticketed production since 2018. In November 2018, we produced Twelfth Night at the Detroit Opera House. We took a pause to focus on our youth programming via our educational program, which is called Shakespeare Steam. And then, of course, the pandemic happened. And so our first professional show back, ticketed performance, was with... Um, the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged revised in May 2022 and we also had a reading uh, this year in July we read The Tempest at our um, wonderful partners um, venue the War Memorial we did that outdoors facing the water it was gorgeous and beautiful thank you to everyone who supported that and this year we also um, not so long ago in December 2022 we performed a devised performance of uh, Van Gogh's letters interpreted by our divisors and myself at the Detroit Institute of Arts. This performance was totally free for the community and in celebration of Van Gogh in America, which is an illustrious exhibit that is happening in real time as I speak um, at the Detroit Institute of Arts, at the DIA. It's a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, um, actually gorgeous exhibit uh, with 74 of Vincent Van Gogh's works on display and on a Friday night on December 16th Shakespeare in Detroit's um, company of actors some new actors some um, um, iconic legacy actors all came together to perform to interpret seven letters to and from uh, Vincent's Vincent and Vincent's loved ones like his sister Wilhelmine his brother Theo and his sister-in-law Joe it was fantastic and, and we also had after the show after the performance we had an amazing, amazing um, audience interactive activity where we had audience members share uh, quotes that they received as they walked in on Van Gogh postcards and they received uh, sunflowers because, of course, um, Vincent Van Gogh loves sunflowers as they represented um, and they still represent um, a gratitude. So we passed out some sunflowers, heard some some lines from the, the letters that we read from audience members. And then we also created a devised um, piece of art in real time that we then uh, um, we we gave away because that was a part of a raffle with the audience. So it was a really amazing, energetic, um, fun, 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 fun event that we did in December 2022 um, at the Detroit Institute of Arts. And we hope to do more with them because they are incredible partners. And um, yeah, so stand by for more with Shakespeare in Detroit and the Detroit Institute, Institute of Arts, hopefully in the near future. Um, we had to cancel our annual sixth annual reading of A Christmas Carol this year, which was a total bummer due to inclement weather. Um, as many of you know, um, December like 22nd, 23rd, 24th uh, are predicted to be really um, harsh weather days in Michigan and beyond Michigan, actually. And so it's better to be safe than sorry. And we always prioritize safety and wellness at Shakespeare in Detroit. So we canceled, we canceled. And it was such a difficult decision because we love this annual tradition at Shakespeare in Detroit, but we just couldn't do it this year. Um, in 2017, we did it at the um, Scarab Club in Midtown. 20, 2018 and 19, we did it at the War Memorial. And then in 2020, we, we were still at the War Memorial, but because we couldn't have audiences, Due, due to the pandemic, we uh, read and filmed the production, which is still avail available, and I'll put the link um, to that 
that private link in the description here. So make sure you scroll down and click on the description so you can find that link. If you'd like to gather around a television with your family and watch the reading on YouTube. But what's coming down the pike for 2023? So there's a lot happening, a lot of plans happening. We have auditions that are coming in March 2023. We haven't announced them yet, but they're coming. We've got some inquiries about auditions. They're coming. Don't worry. Don't fear. If you want to be a part of Shakespeare in Detroit's 2023 summer season, those are absolutely coming. So just stand by. Um, and those auditions will be for both our youth and a professional show. Our youth production will be for Macbeth, um, which will be a translation by Magdalia Cruz for Play On, which is a lovely organization that we've worked with before that translated all 37 of Shakespeare's works into modern verse. And that'll be our youth show. And then our professional production will be... Um, the Tempest. Um, and that will be a show that I'm going to actually direct. I'm excited to be directing again at Shakespeare in Detroit because it's been a few years since I've directed. I always produce our work as the artistic director and I choose the seasons and all of that. Um, but I haven't sat in the director's seat in a few years. So it'll be really exciting to do that uh, with The Tempest, which is going to be a really cool electric, hint, hint, electric, um, production of the show at a local park more on that very very soon um so yeah lots of lots of plans coming down the pike um i hope to do some more updates on youtube i used to be so good at this when we first started shakespeare in detroit i was on youtube all the time talking directly to our audience we got a little busy so i'm not i'm not always able to do this but i hope to be able to do it more that's always the goal to be able to talk to you all directly and youtube is the perfect outlet or pl platform for that so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube page yet please do that subscribe now and um, sign up for uh, alerts so that you're always alerted you always get a little bit of a chime on your phone whenever we've uploaded a new video because again there's so many updates to come you can also become a patreon member by uh finding us at patreon.com slash shakes in the d and uh you'll become a shakespeare and detroit insider you'll be able to participate in contests and win prizes. It's a really, really fun thing to be a part of. If you'd like to have a deeper connection with the organization, um, what else do we have going on? So much, you know, the company, you know, we were 10 years old because we actually started in 2012 with an effort called Shakespeare Against Cancer, where we would perform vignettes of Shakespeare's plays in local children's hospitals. And then in 2013 is actually when we started, because um, 2012, we were Shakespeare Against Cancer. 20 2012 yeah we were Shakespeare Against Cancer 2020 2013 excuse me 2013 is when we produced our very first professional show which was Othello at Grand Circus Park so we're coming up on 10 years since we were um able to bring our work to the public so next year is going to be a big year for us uh, every year is a big year for us as a growing evolving organization so stay tuned here on YouTube again don't forget to subscribe um I hope I'm not talking too fast. It's been such a whirlwind um, for anybody who's followed Shakespeare in Detroit's journey from the beginning. Uh, you know that if you've watched, you know, um, any of my TED talks or talks that I've, I've given around town and, and a lot of them which are available on YouTube, you know that my mother um, was is an integral part of Shakespeare in Detroit as she is. I qualify my mother as my muse um she's the one who exposed me to Shakespeare and theater and so many other things and is the essence of who I am um her um impression on my life is um immense and I can't describe it and it's in her impact on my life enough um you know we all have mothers but um not all of us are blessed with great incredible aspirational inspirational dynamic mothers. I had a beautiful mother who passed away at the beginning of December. Um, and so this upcoming season and every season thereafter is dedicated to my mother who would always tell me, you need to promote this theater company more. It's so great. You know, why are you talking about it more? I think I talk about it a lot, but um, that's one of the reasons I want to make myself more available on YouTube and uh, talk more about the company as we continue to evolve. It's because my mama told me so. Uh, we're going to miss her in Shakespeare in Detroit. I'm going to miss her every day and every way and everywhere that I am. Um, because she, again, was the, the muse, my muse, my loving, sweet, beautiful, gorgeous mother. So rest in peace, mama. And I'm sending love to anybody else who experienced great loss in 2022. 
may our losses, may our grief, may our um, pain be a conduit for connection with others, um, for storytelling and for making the world a better place for those who um, may share the same experiences that we have, for others who don't know about the experiences that we've had um, or have yet to know so that we all can, um, again, connect and keep hanging in there because it's important that we all continue to hang in there. We're all needed, right? We're all needed in this world to make it better. Anyway, um, happy holidays, friends. Uh, happy New Year. I'm wishing everybody lots of love, health, and happiness in 2023. And I will see you on the other side of the calendar sometime in the new year. Thank you to everybody who supports Shakespeare in Detroit. Um, thank you to everybody who sends us good energy, who has donated this year. If, you, if you'd like to donate, it's not too late to get a end of year um, write-off on your taxes. Uh, Shakespeare in Detroit is a nonprofit organization, so you can get a tax-deductible donation by giving. We appreciate your end-of-year gifts and donations as those individual gifts really do help us move our mission forward. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye.